Hello, my name is Gao Ritong. I'm a medical student from Taiwan, and I'm currently working as a clinical clerk at Taipei Medical University Hospital. Well, I was probably still wandering in the universe at that time. It will take eight more years for me to arrive on Earth. Becoming a doctor has always been my dream since I was a child. Till this day, I'm still working hard on making this wish come true. The wall we are trying to break is the spread of airborne viral pathogens. Today, growing numbers of migration, travel, and trade are causing concerns for elevating the risks of fast-spreading pathogens involved in a pandemic. In fact, the ongoing COVID-19 crisis represents a situation where we have a serious manifestation of this problem. Well, we've observed that many apps and websites are deploying machine learning algorithms to identify potential outbreaks and hotspots. However, these methods rely heavily on an adequate data collecting system, which in this pandemic, we see that such process isn't fully established and carried out in many places. So we start to think that if there is a different approach to build a comparably powerful surveillance system that could detect pathogens more effectively by live monitoring. And then we came up with an idea. What if we could detect these aerosolized viral load directly through air? To address this challenge, we are proposing a device that will sample ambient air daily at the rate of several times per hour in confined public places like airports, schools, office, or hospitals. The pathogen in the sampled air will then be tested quantitatively using antigen antibody reaction. The reactive product can be measured by electrochemical or optical technology. Finally, by collecting data measured by the device, we can establish a real-time database that could be used to identify potential hotspots and further to predict outbreaks. Our research points to the fact that the real-time hotspot identification system based on quantitative measurement of viral load in air will help reduce the possibility of viral spread. People who have been exposed in the hotspot will be alert in time and can undergo quarantine during the risk period. This will definitely limit the emergence of super spreaders event. While we are practicing social distancing, wearing masks, and taking precautions, this is not always possible. Our device will help identify the potential risk zone and can help track individuals at risk of exposure. The society will be able to open up more and the way of living can be as close to normal as possible. A well-designed filter is yet to be developed in order to avoid the interference with some particles in air. Ultimately, we would like to discover a universal solution that could detect some of the most common airborne pathogens. Thinking of how a real-time early alert system like this could help control diseases and relieve the burden of possible outbreaks is what keeps me awake at night.